What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Lucas Hernandez, the 84 centre back for Bayern Munich. This guy is an absolute animal. He will cost you, looking in at this moment in time, around about 61k on the Xbox and just shy of about 70k on the PlayStation. And for an 84, that is a crazy price. He has got himself a cheeky one to watch as well for obviously his move to Bayern, which is just coming in on both consoles, a little bit under and a little bit over 100k. For me, I would probably 100% go with that one watch. It's exactly the same stats at the minute, obviously being an 84, but the possibility of him going up would be incredible to get. Literally, I'm thinking about selling my one because obviously he's tradable to then go ahead and get his one to watch because if he does go up, how much of a beast he is already would be sensational to get. And if he reaches anywhere between an 86 and an 87 rated centre-back, this guy may be the second best centre back in the game. He's already got the pace, he's got the defendability, especially when you put either a shadow or sentinel on him, or even go for an anchor to get the best of everything. The guy is incredible. 81 pace on a centre back is phenomenal. He's left footed, six foot tall with a high, high work rate. Personally, you can have him on stay back, so the attacking is literally nothing. Um, a three-star skill, weak foot, which is okay. Uh, but personally, what it lies in is if you put a sentinel, a sentinel on this card, he'll go up to four defending and also 89 physical. So just bear that in mind, 81 pace, 94 defending and 89 physical. The guy will be an absolute machine. That is literally just with his basic um, overall. No increase on his one to watch. No nothing. That is an incredible start to a centre back. Personally, I think he's probably one of the best starting centre backs you can get. Obviously, he is a little bit pricey, but compared to like Virgil, who's going on 400, 500k, Ramos, who's 150k, I think personally for how much you're paying, he's probably the best card you can get right now as a centre back. Like I said, nobody has the pace like him. You can afford to then have another centre back next to him with necessarily not as great of pace, maybe 69, 70s, something along there, and he would complement them very well. Even with the pace, his tackle is very nice. His on-the-ball movement is nice as well, mainly because he's just a very comfortable card to play with. Heading-wise, is fine. Personally, he's better on the ground than he is in the air, but I think the main attribute of him is that pace. Pace mixed with great defending ability is a massive, massive plus in this guy's card. So overall, I think personally, Ramos is better than him at this moment in time. Definitely not better than Virgil as well. But I think a couple of upgrades on a one to watch or a couple of informs and this card could be a serious contender for one of the best centre backs in the game already. Then obviously he is better than Laporte, I personally think. Even with the fact that I'm kind of basing it on pace and yes, the physical is the same. Defending on Laporte is better, but I think with the fact that you could put a sentinel on uh, Hernandez and still have that amount of pace without putting anything else on him, I personally think Hernandez is that little bit better than Laporte. Then you look at obviously the value for coins. Personally, 60k or even 90k for this card is definitely a 9 out of 10 for me. I think you 100% get your money back from playing with this card. Foot champs wise, especially the starting one, this is most definitely a 10 out of 10 centre back you need in there. And overall, I'm giving him a whopping 9 out of 10, which I haven't, I don't think I've given anyone a 9 out of 10 yet. Obviously, we've got a few players in there like Hazard, who is very, very expensive, but is very good at the same time. I think this is probably one of the better, lower rated players I've ever played with on FIFA 20 so far. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below who you're rocking with as your two centre backs or three centre backs. Let me know down below. If you did enjoy, like I say, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more content with the bell button on. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.